Welcome back, coders. You are currently on episode 7 of our spreadsheet service playlist on the Google Apps Script course. In this video, we're going to be talking about removing data. So I know that there are many, many ways to remove data. It depends on what level you're on. So if you're on the sheet level, you can delete the entire sheet. If you're talking about bandings, you can just delete and remove those bandings. But there are a lot of methods. We're only going to go over to the top four in this video, and then we'll save some of those other methods for subsequent videos. So in this video, we're going to cover clear, delete cells, delete columns, and delete rows. So let's jump in the code and see what we got going on. Right now, I have selected the sheet with data sheet, and I've collected the last rows and the max rows and the max columns. And I've actually defined this variable here called range, which is equal to our last row. And it goes through our last column minus one. So let's look at the sheet. So this is our sheet with data again. And I have selected this range, which is equivalent to this range right here. So again, it starts on last row and it goes to last column minus one. So the first thing we want to try is try clearing this data. So if we just wanted to delete all of this data and we wanted to clear it so it's all transparent, we would do range.clear. So again, there's two options for this. You can either have zero arguments or you can pass in a JSON object. So let's just do this first one to start off. All right, so I think that's good. Let's run it and there are no errors so that's good and there you go see it went away so there's no data anymore it was cleared away all right so now let's go and put in some of those javascript objects so those javascript objects allow you to specify what you're clearing so with this clear method you're just going to clear everything but when you have options now you can say i only want to clear the format or the contents or something like that. So what we're gonna do is we are going to clear only the comments. So if we type in comments only and then give it the value true, then we should, so here we go, we have a comment right here. It says there's something fishy about this row. And I agree, it's kind of off kilter, but here we go, there is a comment right here. Let's say we want to get rid of that comment, but we still want to retain this data. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna change our range. So I'm just going to say, okay, this is seven, and this is also, well, this is column eight. So let's just type in seven, eight, and get rid of that. All right, so we're just going to delete the comment of that. So we're gonna hit save and we're gonna run it and no errors, that's good. And as you can see, the comment now has been removed, but the data is still there, data seven. So that's a little bit on clearing the data. Our next method is going to be on deleting cells. So one reason why you would wanna do this, so again, let's say for instance, you know, you have people putting in records manually and someone put in this record, someone put in this record, or then someone put in this record, but then for some reason they decided to put it in one cell over. And this actually happens in the professional world. I have had to deal with this before. So what you're gonna have to do is you will need to recenter it. So what, what you have to do, you don't wanna delete the entire row, you just wanna delete this cell right here and then shift it uh, shift it to the left. So let's do that right now. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to get your range again. So this is going to be row 7, column 1, row 7, column 1. And in, in a professional world, you will actually, like this will be a little bit more automatic. You won't have to like type in 7, 1. You'll probably like scan the entire sheet and if there's something weird, then you'll you'll programmatically, automatically find this cell like that. But again, we're just we're just going back to basics right now. So here we go. We have our range, and we are going to hit dot delete cells. And as an argument, it takes in a dimension. So that dimension is a spreadsheet enum. Spread. Oops. Spreadsheet app 
dot dimension. We should find one that says dimension. Here it is. So then our two options are rows or columns. So do we want to shift it to the left or do we want to shift everything up? So let's hit columns because that's what we want. We want to shift this row over to the left. We don't want to shift these data points up. And then after we do that, we'll hit save and then we'll run it. And no errors, that's good. And then as you can see, this cell that, was, that used to be there is now deleted and everything shifted over to the left. So that's good, that's exactly what we wanted. So that's delete cells. And now let's go on to delete columns. And then right after that, delete rows. So the first thing we need is the delete columns. And this is not on the range, I'm sorry about that. So delete columns and delete rows are actually on the sheet level. So we need to type in sheet with data dot delete columns and rows. So again, you could delete it one at a time. There's a method called delete column and that just takes in a column position argument. And But then there's also the plural version and honestly if it was said delete columns but then you only said one for how many, it would work exactly the same as delete column. So let's do delete columns, column position. So let's say we want to get rid of these four again, kind of like how we did in a previous vi uh, video. So this is column eight. So it'll start out at eight. How many? We're just gonna do it the quick and dirty way, which is just looking at that, and that's four. And I'm actually gonna comment this out because I do not want that deleting again. And that's fine, we can keep this range, no big deal. And let's just save that and run it just so that we can see what's going on. All right, again, that deleted that. So now let's say we want to delete this row. So again, this kind of looks weird with an empty row and then the data starts again. Let's try to delete row 11. So with this, we can go straight into, well, we could do delete rows and then we could say how many, one, but let's try just delete row. So row position, that's going to be 11. And let, let me just make sure, yeah, okay, 11. And we're gonna run it. And as you will see, now that now that row has been deleted and the row shift up, so now it's all in one big block, just like how we want it. And there's actually one more thing I wanna show you before I end it, and that is uh, deleting everything. So we've been kind of we, we've been kind of work been, have been working on ranges, especially when we cleared a range. But let's say we want to clear the entire sheet. So to do that is very simple. Let me comment this out. Let me type in sheet with data, and it's the same method except for clear this time. So it's um it's kind of like the same clear that was on the class range but now it's just on a sheet level. So when we run this, it should delete everything off the sheet. So let's run it. No error, that's good. And now our sheet is completely empty again. So that's just some ways to delete and remove data. Again, there's a lot of other methods out there. We'll get into those later on. These are some of the more popular uh, more, you know, we, we use these more frequently in the professional world. And I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a lot and see you in the next video.